camera technology has come a long way, incorporating many groundbreaking innovations. But there are some technologies that took the camera industry far into the future. A stacked CMOS sensor is one of those innovations that has opened the door of many possibilities. And if you take a closer look at the camera market, almost all the camera brands nowadays are incorporating this technology to make the cameras more powerful than ever. And in this video, we're going to talk about why stacked CMOS sensors are going to be the future of the camera industry. So with that being said, let's get started. Let's start our discussion by understanding the fundamental differences between a typical CMOS sensor and a stacked CMOS sensor. A standard CMOS sensor has mainly one layer in which all the pixels and associated circuitries are grouped together. So, the primary task of collecting the light and processing is done within that layer. On the other hand, a stacked CMOS sensor contains multiple layers. Usually, the first layer contains the pixels and the next layer incorporates the logic. Though most stack sensors usually have two layers, there are more advanced ones that come with another layer containing memory. As the tasks are divided into different layers, the overall sensor readout time becomes insanely fast. So now, let's see how this helps photography and videography. Megapixel has always been a dilemma to the camera manufacturers, until the arrival of stack sensors. The main problem is, more megapixels slows down the sensor readout speed which causes the rolling shutter effect. So, it became kind of a default in the camera industry that cameras with higher megapixel count are for landscape, portrait, and other types of photography, where it demands incredible details. But when it comes to videos, those cameras were just not good enough. On the other hand, to reduce the rolling shutter effect for high-end videos, manufacturers usually kept the megapixel count minimal, ranging from 12 to 24 megapixels. But again, those cameras used to fall short when shooting landscapes. But stack sensors came as a lifesaver in this case. Stack sensors are capable of processing light with blazing fast speed, even if the sensor included higher megapixel counts. So, stack sensors literally paved the way for high-end hybrid cameras capable of shooting both high-end videos and high-risk photos. Take the example of the recent flagship releases of prominent brands. Sony has Alpha 1 equipped with a stack sensor. Canon has R3, which is also a stacked sensor camera, and Nikon has also joined the battle with the Z9, featuring a stacked sensor. So, it's an easy prediction that all the flagships coming in the near future will include the same stack technology. And because of the boom of videos in social media and other platforms, camera users are looking for a one-stop solution for both images and videos. And stacked sensors deliver the exact thing to them. There was a time when landscape photography was hugely popular. Sports and wildlife shooting was out of the league for most people out there. But with the change in time, those genres of photography and videography are getting more and more familiar to the masses. So, the demand for cameras with incredible speed is on the rise. One of the crucial factors while choosing a camera for wildlife or sports shooting is burst speed. There are a bunch of cameras with a reasonable burst shooting rate. Previously, We've seen some APS-C cameras capable of shooting 30 frames per second, like the Fujifilm X-T4. Another example could be Micro Four Thirds cameras, such as Olympus OMD E-M1 Mark III, which can shoot up to 60 frames per second in burst mode. But as the sensor size increases, burst rates drop. So there is almost no full-frame camera with a burst speed of 30 or near. But as stacked sensors can contribute to speeding, we now have cameras like Sony Alpha 1, which is capable of shooting 30 frames per second, a remarkable landmark for full-frame cameras. So, that was all about stacked CMOS sensors and why it's considered to be the future of the camera industry. What are your thoughts about the stacked CMOS sensors? Let us know in the comment section.